Hey guys, Hag here from Extinction ENT, and since Pat released his sniper build today, I figured I'd let you guys see what my tough guy build is uh, like. I know in NHL 12, I released my defensive defenseman build, didn't really get too uh, great of reviews from you viewers, so I hope you're going to like this one a little better. Now, uh, they really didn't upgrade to the tough guy for NHL 13. And first thing you see here, slap shot power. I got plus five. Plus five defensive awareness. Plus three slap shot. Plus three speed. Plus five agility. Plus five speed. Plus five acceleration. I got plus five body checking. Plus three acceleration. Plus three strength. Plus five passing. And plus five strength. Uh, that's pretty much, in my opinion, what you need a defense to be a good defenseman. Uh, it's... It's my personal opinion, though. Some people like having uh, more puck control as a defense, as a D-man. But for this tough guy, it's pretty much offense is not going to be your main thing. And uh, if you're playing defense, most likely you're probably not going to scoring anyway, and that's why you're back there. If you're like me, at least. Now, pretty much going over attributes here. Uh, it's a pretty simple build. Actually, no equipment. Sorry. Uh, I want to go over, I always use a Reebok 110 Pro Stiff, heel fl slightly open is a stick I will exclusively use on defense. I don't think there's any need for anything else. Again, 11K skates with a 13 inch radius. Now if you're someone who likes to pinch up a D much, this is not the skate for you. Uh, pretty much showing you there, again, try not to laugh too hard. This is a 6'9", 235 is how I have my defenseman set up. It's something you need to get used to before you really start going to hardcore like fives and sixes. And if you're playing fives and sixes, don't use this build. This is more set up for fours and threes, maybe fives at most, but uh, it's uh, more set up for clearing the net, as you'll see, and I'll explain later. First things first, you want to pump up the slap shot power as high as you can get it, which is 95 for me with my plus eight. Next thing I always do is put puck control up. I get passing up next. Hand eye, I always try to get up because if the forwards actually pass to you for once, you want to be prepared. And uh, slap shot accuracy, I got there. Now for me, I always put stuff into wrist shot power just because my style of playing, I go for loose pucks if I have to. And uh, I'll just dump them on net. And the higher wrist shot power you have, better chance you have setting up a rebound or even scoring. Defensive awareness for defense doesn't matter what build you have. Bump your f defensive awareness up as high as you can get it right away. Next is body checking. I can get it to 92 with this. Aggressiveness, I always get up. Uh, stick checking. I always like to take that up quite a bit because it's actually really useful as a defenseman. And then I put a little bit into shot blocking. But when I get to my Legend 3, I'll get that a little higher. Acceleration is always the first thing I max out. Then I do speed. And again, this is 88-88 for speed and acceleration. Uh, it's one of those things with a 13-inch skates, you have to be careful. You can't get caught pinching or you will fall behind. But that's like that for every defensive thing. This is more of a stay-at-home defensive build. Uh, agility, I like to put it 80. Endurance at 77. And for attributes, that's pretty much about it. Uh, like I said, this is a stay-at-home build. Here's some of the things you can do with it. As you see this play here, I go up and check him and take him out of the play. It's just one of the simple things. Slap shot power. Here's where it comes into handy. 95 slap shot power. Good at one-timers. Quickly here, stay at home. Get the body checking going, and you can take away one-timers there, and goalies will love you. And again, same thing here. Taking away the one-timer. It's one of those, you're not going to be an offensive superstar, but... I mean, you're going to have a good time, and you're going to be a good defenseman. I thank you guys for watching, and if you have not subscribed, please do so. I uh, look forward to seeing you guys again, and I'm going to be releasing two more D-builds, so you guys are going to have to stay tuned and uh, see which one I release next. Thanks.